readily conserve the purposes of freedom. But the hero's heart must also be attacked. For centuries, Daedalus has represented the type of the artist scientist, that curiously disinterested, almost diabolic human phenomenon, beyond the normal bounds of social judgment, dedicated to the morals, not of his time, but of his art. He is the hero of the way of thought, single-hearted, courageous, and full of faith that the truth, as he finds it, shall make us free. And so now we may turn to him and see Ariadne, the flax for the linen of his thread he has gathered from the fields of the human imagination. Centuries of husbandry, decades of diligent culling, the work of numerous hearts and hands have gone into the packing, sorting, and spinning of this tightly twisted yarn. Furthermore, we do not even have to risk the adventure alone, for the heroes of all time have gone before us. The labyrinth is thoroughly known. We have only to follow the threads of the hero path. And where we have thought to find an abomination, we shall find a god. Where we have thought to slay another, we shall slay ourselves. Where we have thought to travel outward, we shall come to the center of our own existence. Where we have thought to be alone, we shall be with all the world.